Hey guys, this is Melissa from Like A Radio and today we're here on the Like A Radio and Like A God YouTube channel and I'm with someone who is absolutely awesome. Her name is Veronica Mehta and you would know her, of course, from all the great music she's already um, had released and she's here with a brand new song which we're going to be talking about. So how are you? I'm great, thank you. And thank you so much for joining us here at Like A Radio. Now, you. you actually started your career, and we're gonna take you back to when uh -huh. you were 16 years old and you yeah. made that decision to start getting into music. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to get into music and why did you decide to go down that route? I just always loved music. I loved being around it, dancing, performing, you know, singing down my hairbrush, you know, all of that. <laughs> and I think I got to a point in my life where I realized wow, I really want to do this all the time. Um, so taking it from, you know, an amateur performer to professional is like the hardest part. First, you've got to get your family on board, you know, yeah. and, and being an Asian female, you know, that's a massive challenge that you'd have to face. But thankfully, my parents were very supportive. Um, so <coughs> from, from uh, having their blessing to then taking it out into the big bad world. <laughs> yeah. And ironically, you launched your career with Rishi Rich, who is actually here with us today. So tell us a little bit about this time and how it was working with Rishi then. Oh, it was amazing, because when we, we knew of each other, because we lived in the same neighborhood. Um, and when we finally got together, uh, he was working uh, with Too Cool at the time, mm -hmm. in this little shed, had his little setup and stuff. And I'd heard bits and bobs of what he'd done, but not really like thought much about it. And then I heard him play the keys and that was it. I was like, wow, absolutely amazing. I started singing and that was just the beginning of that. It was incredible. I love how you had the same reaction that everyone else has when they hear Rishi play. Everything. Yes, love it. amazing. And then in 2004, alongside Juggy D, you had your track, You and I, mm -hmm. which was in the film Hum Thug. Yeah. How did it feel to know that your song alongside Chucky, was going to be in a Yash Chopra film? It was all actually a bit of a whirlwind. It was so crazy. It was so phenomenal. It was really just mind blowing. We, I think we just didn't really know what was about to happen. Like, you know, you say that, you say Yash Chopra and you say, you know, Rani Mukherjee and you, know, you say all these big names and just like, whoa, we just can't even believe it. And, and what was to come was just incredible. And if I remember rightly, there was actually a music video with you guys dancing in yes, it as well. Yes, Which is pretty cool. It was awesome because we went into this like little village somewhere, um, you know, started at four or five o'clock in the morning. They get you in hair and makeup and all this stuff. But it was really ghetto. It was like these little ghetto streets. And um, that was it. We were there all day filming. It was baking hot. I mean, it was like, you know, it, it was just such a great vibe to experience. And then you released your first album, which was mm -hmm. called Dean. And then you took a Dean year gap <laughs> because then you came back with a song called Sonia and your album Rush. Yeah. So why did you take that um, break? And also when you came back, things in this industry change so quickly. Mm -hmm. Did you find that there were changes that had already happened in those couple of years? So the gap that I took was because I was touring a lot. So I was out on the road and it is quite hard to, you know, make new music when you're like constantly touring traveling you know meeting people performing um as amazing as it is it's really exhausting as well so you yeah. need to kind of like re-energize to be able to you know come back with new music and were you still like in the background working in the studio anyway thinking of ideas and yeah. while you're touring sort of just sitting there thinking oh this would be really good when yeah I'm yeah you think of yeah you've always got ideas and stuff but then once you finally get to sit in studio and be creative, then obviously that's a different energy that comes. Definitely. Now, before we talk about the latest single, I want to touch on a subject. Now, this is only because it is related to the single and we've got a big South Asian platform. So mm -hmm. with everything you're doing, it makes sense because it's the right target audience. But this is a bit of a personal subject. You were diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. when you were pregnant. At the time, you didn't talk about it, mm -hmm. but then you have now become an advocate to mm -hmm. encourage South Asian women to get tested sooner. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this time. Um, so uh, I was pregnant with my son. Um, he, it was 2016 and uh, I found a lump on my left breast. Didn't think anything of it. Uh, went for a couple of checks and the doctors kept saying to me it's nothing to worry about um, Then it became bigger more painful and then I realized oh, something's not right So kept pushing for getting some scans and thorough checks 
and once they had found what it was, unfortunately, it was breast cancer. Um, so that time was incredibly difficult because you're preparing for the birth of your child and you've been diagnosed with breast cancer. You don't know if you're going to live or die or what's going to happen. So something that's very close to my heart about speaking out, it's never easy to talk about mm -hmm. a private matter like that. But I feel like if I can just make a difference and make somebody aware that if you are in a similar situation or how important it is to check yourself, not just women, but men can get breast cancer as well. Mm -hmm. So just in any case, just always check yourself and be thorough. And the reason I wanted to bring that up is because I feel like South Asian women are more prone to holding back, not yes. saying anything. It's a, a sort of like a taboo subject in a way. Exactly. They don't want to say exactly. what's going on. Absolutely. And then it can become a lot worse because you haven't yeah. got checked straight away. Exactly. So you have to be persistent. And if someone does want help, where can they go for anyone that's watching right now? Um, like the first, you know, port of call is always your GP, you know, mm -hmm. speak to your GP and like just go on the internet. There's so many ways to get help and advice and support. So um, it's all there. And now talking about the track, it's called Gone mm -hmm. and it is your journey through cancer. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about the song? Yeah, so it was inspired by my journey, as you said. Um, it's about dealing with all like the emotional, the physical, um, you know, all that, the mental issues that you kind of go through because you're going to have to say goodbye to the people that you love and, you know, how do you do that? So I kind of wanted to put that journey into a song and have a positive spin on it so that that's and how Gone was created. Thankfully you are here so you're able to tell this story yes, through that very, music very as well. Lucky. And the lyrics are very deep. So yeah. now coming back to the fact that you haven't been working on music for mm. a while, of course you were going through that journey, you had your son who you were bringing up. It must be very difficult to take yourself back to that time mm -hmm. to have to write those lyrics. Yes, definitely. It was, I think it was one of the hardest songs I've ever written. Um, but I think once I just focused, it all just came flooding out. Um, it was. It was very tough but afterwards i was like absolutely exhausted i was just mentally physically i was just drained emotionally but i do like the way you've worked on this track because it's not a sad song as mm, such yeah. in fact the lyrics when i was listening to them could even be about heartbreak it could yes. be about a relationship yeah. breaking up it yeah. could be about losing a parent it could yes. there's there's a lot to it it's yes. not it's not just about this one Absolutely. subject. Yes. It can really touch people in other ways. Yes, exactly. And you put this into a video, mm -hmm. which is a very interesting video actually, and we will um, put a link to the video. Yeah. But what made you come up with this video? I just like to be, um, I like to be a bit of a pioneer when it comes to like doing things. And I wanted to do something different. Um, so I thought I wanted to create an AI video uh, representing like myself, and showing me like in my peak of my career and then like traveling, going through iconic places from London to Mumbai to New York. And then, you know, you have these like dark figures, these dark characters that are following me. It could be the darkness, it could be representing something, you know, the hard times that somebody's going through. And then it all takes me back to the stage where I feel that's where my calling is, where I belong. And where and, you feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, and at the end I, I burst into a phoenix which represents a uh, second chance at life, which I'm so grateful for. 100%. And what made you decide to release this now? Um, I think it was just the right time. It was just everything happens when it's supposed to, that's what I believe. Um, and everything's just clicked into place and I felt like this single was the right one to you know, come out with first. And are you working on other singles at the moment? Yes, I am. So now let me ask you, with everything that has changed in these years, music wise, yes. and in the music industry with things like now Apple Music, although that was around, but mm -hmm. Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, Reels on Instagram, mm -hmm. how are you finding that with how you're releasing your music? Because it's completely different. To it how is, you released before. it's completely different. And um, I'm not great at social <laughs> media, honestly. <laughs> So you know, I always have like, you know, um, someone trying to like help me um, just like think of ideas and stuff. But it's a completely different time, as you said. But also it's a great time because it's so much more easier to like network with people and connect with people yeah. and be able to hear 
you know that what people are feeling and and that response and it's it's amazing and it probably it. really helps with your next singles and stuff because yeah. people then react instantly rather yeah. than you having to go on a stage perform and then wait and then for that wait. reaction yes, exactly or when it used to be on like a tv station yes. you couldn't really see the reaction no, you, you could just see it exactly. there on the screen which yeah. is fun yeah but now you can actually have people you know tell what's you. going on yeah that's true amazing and um, what other things are you working on that you can talk about because i know there's probably stuff you're like <laughs> i'll tell you about that right now no that's it just watch the space um you know lots of exciting things this year definitely more music to come and i note that Rishi Rich, who is hiding in the background, guys, by the way, <laughs> we have spoken to him before, but he's working on a podcast and you're going to be on that podcast as well, right? Yes. So the podcast came out uh, on Monday, the 15th of okay. Jan, and it's called the Rishi Rich podcast. And I featured on the first episode and it's more about talking openly and honestly about things that are going on in the industry and things that I faced in the mm -hmm. past. Um, so I won't give too much away, you have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, that is on my list of things to listen to because I'm very intrigued because I hear things from a lot of people that I know in the industry yeah. and then you're kind of like, well, we don't know what we are and aren't allowed to talk yes. about on radio, yes. but in my head I've got all this stuff spinning around. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be interesting yeah. and very deep and I think that's what people are looking for nowadays is yes. actually knowing. And yeah. also I feel this can really help newer generations mm -hmm. who are trying to get into the industry definitely where maybe you know how they say you learn from others mistakes absolutely it would be a good way for people to say yes. hey actually i'm going to learn from veronica exactly. this is where yeah she went wrong and yeah. this is where i want to yeah. now go right basically. yeah exactly amazing thank you so much for joining us here thank today you. and we definitely look forward to hearing the rest of your new singles thank as you they come so out. much thank, thank you, you.